Hello and welcome to this course on Microsoft Excel by White Knight Ventures. In our introductory video, we will be learning how to use MS Excel, what are the various domains where it can be used, and we will try to understand the basic structure of the program. MS Excel is a program which enables users to record and store data and also to perform calculations on that data. It can be used for performing our day-to-day -day tasks quickly and more accurately. For example, it can be used to record and track daily weather conditions, perform calculations on this data to determine the highest, lowest and average temperatures observed over a period, undertake comparisons of different weather-related components across different seasons, regions, etc. It basically can be used to do everything that a calculator does, but only much more. Excel has a lot of inbuilt functions which make it a very user-friendly platform. Simply by knowing what functions to use, users can make an easy job of the work that they plan to do. Even if we don't always know what functions to use, Excel has plenty of inbuilt guidance to help us find our way through a problem. Let us begin by seeing how we can open an Excel workbook. We can simply type Excel in the search bar here. This gives us an option to open the Excel program. This is basically how an Excel workbook looks. An Excel workbook is the highest object in the hierarchy of the Excel program. Within an Excel workbook, we find that there are multiple worksheets. By default, there are three worksheets in an Excel workbook. We can go to any particular sheet by simply clicking on the name of that sheet. A quicker way to do it is to use the keyboard shortcut Control plus Page Down. Control plus Page Down will help us move to the sheets on the right, whereas Control plus Page Up will help us move to the sheets on the left. By double clicking on any particular sheet, we can get to change the name of the worksheet. Let us say we want to name it Introduction to Excel. Say we go to sheet one. The keyboard shortcut to rename this sheet is simply Alt H O R. Here we go, we get an option to change the name of the worksheet. We need to press the keys Alt H O R one after the other. Within a worksheet, you can see that there are multiple columns named A, B, C, D, so on, up till column X, F, D. Also, there are multiple rows starting from 1, 2, 3, so on, and up till 1048576. The intersection of a particular row and column is known as a cell. For example, this cell that we're currently in is known as B1. That is the name of the column first and then the row number. This cell, for example, is G5. This cell, for example, is D11. A single cell or a selection of multiple cells together is called a range of cells or simply a range. To go to any cell, we can simply click on that cell using our mouse or we can use the keyboard. We can use the right, left, up, down keys to maneuver our way through the spreadsheet. You can zoom in or zoom out of a particular worksheet using these buttons on the bottom right of the screen. Zooming in will allow us to see the cells bigger, but like you can see, we will see a smaller number of cells on the screen. To see the cells on the right, we will need to hold to the right. Whereas if we zoom out of the sheet, we will see more cells on the sheet, but they will be smaller in size. The top part of the Excel screen is the Excel ribbon. It has multiple tabs on it. 
Clicking on each tab will allow you to see what each tab can help you do. The file tab provides us with basic options to open a new file, to open a blank file, to save the file and things like that. The home tab provides us with a variety of cell and text formatting and alignment options, which we will be using in subsequent videos when we learn how to deal with data on Excel. Insert tab allows us to insert different shapes, tables, charts, external links, files, etc. into our worksheet. The page layout tab provides various options to adjust the look of our sheet. The formulas tab gives access to the world of functions that Excel has to offer. The data tab provides us various options for manipulating the data that we have recorded. The Review tab helps us to review an Excel workbook by allowing us to put comments, check spellings, track changes, and protect our worksheet, workbook, or cells. The View tab provides various options to decide how we view our worksheet, which provides us ease of access and visual clarity. The Developer tab is mainly used to access the VBA feature. VBA, or Visual Basic Application, is the coding language or the backbone of Excel. We will learn about the basics of VBA in a later video. We will be using all these tabs extensively in our subsequent videos and will understand their different functionalities as and when we need to use them. Finally, let us see how we can save the workbook we have created. Simply go to the File tab, click on Save As, we can give any name to our workbook and simply press save. A faster way to do this can also be to use the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl plus S. Doing this will simply again open the save as window and we will be asked to provide a name to our workbook and save it. If we have already assigned a name to our workbook and subsequently get back to working in the same workbook, to save all the subsequent changes, we can again go to the File tab, simply click on Save this time, and the workbook will be saved. Or like I said, we can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus S, and the workbook will be saved. To close an Excel workbook, we can simply click on the cross button at the top right of the screen, and the Excel workbook will get closed. This is it for this video. Thank you.